Yes, this video. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to make a ragdoll script or character. Um, and we are going to be using a module that was created by Key4 Q Q U. Uh, but he made this, and I'm going to show it to you guys. I wanted to highlight it because it's a really cool module. It's already set up for you guys, and it's actually easier to set up than the way, um, you know, anywhere else you could do it. Um, but yeah, if you're new to my channel, you guys, feel free to hit the subscribe button. We're almost at 58,000 subscribers. Sorry for the lack of videos. Been pretty busy with college, so I'm trying to keep up with that. But um, yeah, so basically, you're going to go into the description. Now, once you get into the description, um, you're going to go and find the link, of course. And it's going to bring you to this right here. This is the Ragdoll service. Um, now, how this works is... Um, there's yeah so there's a bunch of things um it talks about features you can create a temporary ragdoll custom constraints it's easy to use lightweight um doesn't include a lot of stuff compatible with NPCs, um and of course this is what it kind of looks like uh, if i want to show you it um and basically yeah um you can kind of trigger a ragdoll and it's really cool um so let's see if we have a camera spring i don't even see this oh yeah so that's what it would look like for you if you get humanoid which is awesome now, um, I will show you, of course, what this is all about. But um, if you want a ragdoll character, you would just add a ragdoll tag to the humanoid. Um, if you want to rig a character before ragdoll, just add the ragdollable tag to the humanoid. If you want to um, ragdoll a character on humanoid die, just add ragdoll on humanoid die tag to the humanoid. Um, and, of course, there's a configuration if you do want to enable some things, which we're going to talk about. Temporary ragdoll, which is awesome. And, um, yeah, constraints, ragdoll service, server type. Um, so, you know, I'll actually look at this and show you an example. Um, and there's a demo pack just for you. So all you're going to do is go to the description, grab this link, and you're actually going to go to, I think it should be this creator hub right here. Yes, and it should be ragdoll service. Just hit grab model, and now you're going to own this, uh, which is awesome. And make sure to keep this open, but we're going to bring this right over here. And you're going to go to my inventory, my models, and we have a ragdoll service. So I'm pretty sure this goes in server script service, if I'm right. I have to ask. <laughs> but um, yeah, so uh, basically, we are going to add a few things to the people. Um, so client, server, as you can tell. I think he talks about down here, const constants. Um, this is the uh, thing configuration if you want to look at this. Um, but of course, you know, this is up to you. Disable head collision, uh, create no collision, uh, auto, ragdoll camera spring. If you don't want a camera spring, you can turn that off. But um, yeah, what can you use this for? Now, I kind of want to explain that real quick. Um, you know, some people have ragdoll games. Those are awesome to make. Um, so if you want to make a ragdoll game, you could do something like that. Um, one thing though that I prefer and what I wanted to tell you guys mainly is use this if you are making a fighting game or want to add just some little simple effects to your game. Um, so having this kind of script, you can basically trigger the ragdoll on a person if they get punched or if they die. Um, so it's kind of adds a little touch to your game, but it's really cool. Um, but yeah, so it looks like the way to do it, um, we have a client and service, uh, client side and a, uh, server side but um yeah so if we were going to make a let's just add a script right now um we would just name this uh ragdoll tag tagging or whatever uh maybe you'd want to add a folder that could be like ragdoll um i think this belongs in the server script i should be i don't know i'm pretty sure it is um but run server server script yeah or whatever i don't know where that goes but it should be good but yeah, so it looks like right here. Oh, it's in replicated storage. Duh, that's where it goes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Well, then you wouldn't need that. So basically, um, right here, let's just grab the script he made. We would have this. Okay. So when a player gets added and then their character joins, we're going to grab their character. We're going to find their humanoid and we're going to add these uh, tags to them. So once we have these tags, um, we are going to... Uh, yeah, well, actually, it looks like right here, game remote on server event. If player or character has tag ragdoll, remove tag, and then add it back. Um, so I don't know what that is all about. Probably if they it removes it and adds it back, I guess. But it looks like right here, this is what's going to be adding this to our humanoid. So if they fall, um, that's going to add a tag for that. If they die, then it's going to add a tag for that. And then we have a ragdollable tag. 
So I'm guessing you would trigger these, of course, if someone falls, someone dies, or you want to ragdoll them. Now, one thing you can look at is you can look at the client side. So yes, you would want to add this, make sure that's added. That's just basic stuff. Um, now let's say you were to have a tool or something like that. It's up to you, but you know, let's say you put this in starter GUI. This is a simple like ragdoll tool thing. So you would go right here, um, and you would put this right into here. So, oops. Okay. So basically this is saying that if they press their key code R, then it's going to fire to the server. Um, game that remote equals service case storage dot remote. Oh yeah. The remote. Oops. Um, <laughs> so the remote would need to be whatever that remote is. Uh, well, yeah, you, you, you kind of get what I'm trying to say. Oh, the right here. Sorry. So dot remote. So yeah, this would be a remote. Uh, just go remote. I don't know. It's like that, but remote, <laughs> um, then. So yeah. So basically it looks like if they press R as reset, it's going to fire the server and then it's going to, um, Grab the character, check if they have the tag ragdoll, um, then remove it. If they don't, then we are going to add that tag ragdoll. Um, and then I think it just rags doll you, ragdolls you. I don't know. I won't double check that. Um, but yeah, so you can like, it's, it depends how you want to do this, but let's say I'm going to actually just go and open this example on studio that was made by him. Um, but like I said, if you want to use this as an advantage to ragdoll someone when they get damaged, that's also a great way of doing that. But um, let's look at this real quick. So we have a script, um, ragdollable. Okay, so it's going to add these tags right here. Upper torso, head, oh, we're adding a motor 60, whatever that's for. Collision group, um, we have the ragdoll service in here. Starter player, starter player scripts. Okay, so um, we added some stuff in here. So if you want to look at this, you can. Um, I don't know what this exactly means and does, but that's kind of odd. Um, I think these have scripts. No, maybe not. Um, well, let's just, let's just test this out and see what happens. Okay. So I actually just went back to mine cause I don't know what that game was all about, but so here we go. So basically I was talking about this R right here. Yeah. It's firing the server to make you ragdoll. So basically if you wanted to add that, you just do that. And then of course, boop, click the R now I'm ragdoll. I can't even move. Um, click it again. I'm back up. So, uh, I, don't, I just jump stupid, but let's say I fall off right here. Okay. Watch this. Oh wait. Okay. Go the other way, bro. There we go. So now I'm ragdolling. I'm falling, I'm falling. <laughs> so that was back. Um, and then we double check. Uh, I think it should work. Yeah. Back to ragdoll. We're good. So that's kind of the whole point of adding ragdoll. Now, what you can do, like I was saying, um, is, uh, you would want to double check the character. Um, if you're gonna make like a fighting script and basically make it so if someone gets punched, it ragdolls them. Uh, by doing that, you would wanna, yeah, send it back to the server and you would want to grab that character that it was getting uh, getting punched or whatever and ragdolling them, such so forth, you know. Um, by now adding the dying function though, you would wanna make another, um, yeah, you would wanna make another thing. I think you would have to do that I don't know how he does that probably, but he probably just talks about it in, his, in one of the scripts, but it's probably if, if, yeah, if you, well, you want to check the character dies, if it dies and you're going to ragdoll them and there's probably using that ragdoll on human eye die. Um, also this probably is a check or variable to see in the replicated storage to make sure that if they die, then we are make we're getting rid of that ragdoll. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, I would like to say that. And if you really want to test test it out, go for it. It's in the description. Um, and yeah, there is a, looks like there's a unity tutorial on how to make a rag, ragdoll character. Um, so I'll also leave that in the description, but, um, yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.